Hi, welcome uh, to this lecture. Um, so in this lecture, um, uh, we'll uh, do a land cover classification uh, using the Earth Engine uh, JavaScript API. So um, um, as you know, uh, in Earth Engine, you can um, you know, load the Landsat data uh, and import um, built-in Earth Engine uh, classification algorithm and um, apply the classification algorithm to a Landsat data. Uh, so first, um, let's um, select a place. Um, uh, today we can look at some place, for uh, example, uh, Addis Ababa. Uh, we can search for that uh, area and so uh, you know, to make the land land cover classification, we have a little bit more representative, uh, you know, land cover class. This is an urban area, and we also have some, you know, cropland, agriculture, um, some forest cover uh, over here. So, a uh, pretty good representation. Um, so, we can, um, and then some water body here. So let's uh, use these uh, geometry uh, creation tools, um, uh, Gym, uh built-in tools. Uh, I'll click add uh, maker, um, add uh, marker maker, and click on on, uh, on any point that I'm interested, um, and that will be serving as my region of interest or, or ROI. So I'll click here, and that will be my region of interest uh, for this um, analysis. And instead of geometry, actually, I will name it as ROI. And so using this ROI, um, I'll actually need to change this into a Google Maps instead of a satellite data so that we can uh, look at our Landsat data once we import it. So I'll uh, uh, drag down. And so first thing is to import actually the um, Landsat, um, Landsat data. Uh, so before that, uh, you can see that our ROI region of interest is already created here automatically. And so, so I'll use uh, the, the Landsat data uh, for this analysis. And I'll be using um, actually 2020 data. Um, so this will import uh, the Landsat data, as you can see here. This is the image collection. And I need to filter the date, um, I'll filter the data by date here. You can see 2020 January and 2020 December. And next, um, I need to create a region of interest, which I've already uh, created here. Uh, so I will apply filter bounds function. So we can create some uh, visualization parameter. And um, so the we define the Landsat bands that we'll be using, uh, in this case, band four, band three, and band two. And I'll just uh, execute this code to load our Landsat scene. So as you can see here, this is our um, ROI data point that we created um, at the beginning. You can change it to satellite and also Google uh, image and load uh, our um, Landsat scene here, as you can see. So the next step is actually to capture training data for, the, um, for our classification. So to create the training data, we can use um, this um, uh, marker creator. Um, so, so we can say that um, we can create a new a new data point um, and rename it as maybe, um, for example, water. And we can say class and zero. And so we can capture some uh, water, water data points. For example, this is a lake. So we can capture some data points here. OK. 
Okay. And um, so you can um, add some water points here. Um, next um, is to create some urban class. You just uh, can give it a red color and feature feature um, the properly uh, name as um, plus and we can give it um, value one uh, and we can actually use the pan pan button to zoom into uh, development or urban area here for example here so we have some typo here let's fix that and I'll just um, rather I'll uh, let's just uh, update the capitalization here so we can digitize the training data to capture some uh, um, urban urban pixels these are you know if you zoom in uh, you can you can you can tell or just uh, if you um, check the higher resolution image uh, underneath the land side you can see it's an urban area so we can you know capture as many data points as we can uh, but in this situation uh, since it's uh, test demo uh, we can do about 30 data points and that should be fine okay um, so the next thing is to actually um, create a forest class Uh, we can give it a uh, class three and we can just uh, double click that to digitize the forest class actually I'll change it to um, the Google Maps so that we can uh, um, focus on our our Landsat scene and these are forested areas near uh, the uh, the city Addis Ababa. So I'll uh, click the forest uh, training data, and then just uh, keep on capturing as many data points. Uh, again, here since it's just a demo, um, we can capture about you know thirty data data points, and once we have about 30 uh, pixels uh, as our training we can go to the next class and the next uh, class is actually agriculture um, cropland and again we can add the class um, the class um, actually we missed uh, class 2 so we can um, add class number 2 here because we created 0 water urban 1 and we did um, this 3 so we missed uh, crop so we can give crop number 2 right so once we have uh, crop data we can go to some uh, agriculture agriculture area and then sometimes uh, for clarity we can change the satellite data uh, to see um, you know the cropland uh, area and we can also always you know overlay our Landsat data and then we can capture the training data points for uh, agriculture or cropland area all of this is agriculture so we can uh, where's our Landsat data here okay so we can capture I mean all of this is you know cropland 
um, you know, after we um, capture about 30 data points, uh, that should suffice. And the last um, class is Baron class. So Baron is uh, bare soil, uh, which may include also some rocks. Um, this is the last class, which is class four. Mind you, we have about five um, land cover classes and we can give this a gray color and let's find some you know, barn area in our inside and if you look at here uh, we can see some barn area okay let's find some barn area um, for example here um, this is agriculture let's find something that's uh, barren but not agriculture okay okay so we can capture this as barren all right Some of this area we can be uh, it can be classified as barn. Okay, it's not a farmland, and it's uh, it's not a forest or anything. So we can just uh, use this as barn, and this is a major highway. So it's on the side on the uh, right and left side of the road. Uh, so we can use this uh, as barn class. So we have about 30 data points, so this should be fine. So then now the next step is uh, to um, actually generate some, you know, band selected uh, from our Landsat image. So we want to use, um, in this example, let's use band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7, um, the optical, you know, bands of the Landsat 8. And we select all of these bands uh, from that Landsat image. Uh, we created here image, right? And let's merge our um, our training data. So as you can see here, we have um, all of that um, uh, training data. And we have to actually uh, merge it so that we have a single table instead of uh, five tables. Okay. So let's um, execute that and we have our training data um, so the next step is actually to uh, overlay the Landsat data um, over um, this training data points and summarize or extract the Landsat band values for each of these data points okay so that's what this function does so train image that's the function name and input is our Landsat image satellite image and the training is the training data that we already captured here, the land cover classes. And the label is the class uh, code or the integer value that we provided from zero to four. And the scale is the spatial scale at 30 meter. And uh, the next step is actually to create uh, a random column uh, uh, and uh, split the training set and the validation data so we'll be using 80% of the data for training and the remaining 20% for validation. And next main step is actually to run the classification algorithm or the machine learning uh, classification. We'll be using uh, Erzingen uh, classifier, uh, smart classifier. And then we train the data, the 80% of the data uh, in, in our model and we'll be using label that means the class code for the training data and from the Landsat uh, bands we'll be using the the optical bands and this will train our model now we have a, a classification model uh, which is the cart cart is classification and regression tree and then finally we apply this model the classifier uh, to our Landsat data so the input is a Landsat band so what this does is it will convert this Landsat image into a classification. Uh, next, uh, we need to um, actually display the classification result. Before that, we need to create some color codes for each of the class. 
uh, for water, uh, urban, uh, forest, uh, crop, and barn. So for all of this, uh, we'll create a color palette, and then we'll um, map the classified image. Let's see if you're successful. So now we our landsat image will change into a land cover class. Fantastic. Actually, let's um, you know um, uncheck what we have in our uh, in our um, training data. So as you can see, uh, we're able to convert this landsat image into this land cover classification. As you can see, I mean we've we're able to predict most of the classes. Roughly, this is a water body area. As you can see. Um, and some of the crop plants were able to predict and the, the, the barn as well as the forest cover and the city. But, um, you know, because we have only limited um, or 30 data points, uh, we can do a much better job uh, if we have more training data, more representation, um, instead of like, uh, you know, a few, um, like 20 or 30 data points um, instead of that if you do like you know a thousand or a couple of thousands for each class we can really do a much better job in terms of the classification um, so that's how you uh, run a, a cart machine learning um, or supervised classification uh, using a landsat data um, and um, in a steady region uh, um, using uh, or generating you know training data okay